Hello and welcome to another video. When you don't listen in class, you don't learn. When you don't learn, you don't know. And when you don't know, you can't answer the questions in a test. And when you can't answer the question in a test, you try to cheat. And when you cheat, you get caught. And when you get caught, you get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. Listen. This is one problem that often appears in tests, especially in Calc 1. And the instructor usually puts a question like this there to see if somebody was listening or somebody knows what somebody is doing. Now, if you don't know what you're doing and you're cheating, what you're gonna do is plug this into whatever applications you're using and then you're gonna get an answer. But that answer did not use the concept of area. It will not use the concept of area because that's not how these um, applications are programmed. And then you can't explain what you did because the other way of doing this other than this at your level of calculus might be so demanding you can't work it out. Okay, so, and that's how you get caught. If it says the concept of area, just do the concept of area because this is even a lot easier than whatever else you're trying to do. Now, how do we do this? So remember, when you're integrating any expression, what you're doing is actually taking the area that is bounded between that curve and the x-axis. That's what we do when we integrate. You're just finding areas. Okay, so if you look at this expression, we can actually break it down into the integral of 3 plus the integral of this expression. Let's start with that. And then you see that there are two areas that are very easy to determine. So we have, this is the same thing as the integral from 0 to 4 of 3 dx plus the integral from 0 to 4 of the square root of 16 minus x squared dx. Okay, this is just telling you, integrate this, what do we get? We're just saying, what is the area that is bounded by the line y equals 3? You see that? y equals 3 between 0 and 4 on the x-axis if you plot the graph. Just use the concept. Don't integrate. Nobody wants you to integrate this. So we're going to say that what you're integrating is y, the function itself, f of x is 3. That's what you're integrating, and it's between 0 and 4. So when you plot a graph, what you actually have is you're going from 0 to 4. So from 0 to 4, here to 4, let's say this is 4, okay? And the function is y equals 3. Well, this is the line y equals 3, okay? y equals 3. So what is the area that is bounded by these two lines? So it's this line stops here. What's the area of this? That's a rectangle. So this is four multiplied by three. So the area of this equals 12. That's the first part of the solution. And if you use the other method, you'll notice that the first part of your answer is 12. Okay, now we're gonna add it to another integral that is given by y equals 16 minus x squared. What does that mean? Well, let's see what that means. But using the concept of area, if y equals the square root of 16 minus x squared, well, let's square both sides. You'll end up with y is equal to um, y squared equals 16 minus x squared. Well, if you move this here, you get y squared plus x squared equals 16. What do you think this is? This is the equation of a circle. Remember, this tells us that what we have is y squared plus x squared equals 4 squared. So the radius of that circle is 4. You see that? The radius of the circle is 4. So what you have is another graph like this, where it's a circle that goes from 0 to 4. So from 0 to 4, and then, oh, because it goes from 0 to 4, it doesn't go from negative 4 to positive 4, so you can continue the full circle, and remember, it's the positive part that you're looking for, the part on top, between that and the x-axis. So it's the quarter of a circle. That's what you have. It's supposed to be a full circle, but the part we're looking for is the top part. Remember, that's how we calculate area. You don't take this bottom negative portion, and it's the part from 0 to 4 based on the boundaries that we have. So it's from 0 to 4 again. So it's just this part that we need. What is the area of a quarter of a circle of radius 4? Well, what's the area of a circle? Area will be pi r squared, but we need one-fourth of that. 
because this is just a sector, so that's going to be pi r squared over 4. And what's our radius? Well, the radius of the circle is 4. That's going to be equal to pi times 16 over 4, which gives us 4 pi. So that's the answer to this. Bring it here and add it to what you have here. So you're going to end up with two answers. You're going to have um, 12, and then you have 4 pi. And that's how you show your answer. So the answer to this problem is basically, uh, I'm going to put it here, that this expression is equal to 12, I'm going to write it here, plus 4 pi. Um, it's area, unit squared. Let's, let me write it here. Okay, so we say that this integral of 4 to 0 of 3 plus square root of 16 minus x squared dx is equal to 12 plus 4 pi unit squared. Uh, no, just this part. That's the part that's important. That's what you want to show, and that's what the other methods will show you. However, you will just need to sketch two little tiny graphs, and that's it. It's a lot better than using whatever applications you're using. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.